Closing in on protesters after hours of relative calm, sporadic outbreaks of violence begin to erupt. This is the heart of London's financial district. There was an expectation of violence, and by early evening the tension became too much. Protesters, angered at being fenced in by police, refused permission to leave, began hurling bottles and sticks at police lines. There was a clear police tactic to close in a hardcore group of protesters. There's a growing sense of frustration amongst these protesters who at the moment are not being allowed out by the police. Now this is a police line just here. As you can see, people are now starting to throw things at them and they're pushing back against the crowds. There's a barricade there, so we can't... We've been pushed through by the police! Easy, 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 easy. Easy. Watch out. The police have just pushed back against the crowd very aggressively. The protesters are simply asking to be allowed out of the area. It must be said that for most of the afternoon this has been a very peaceful situation, but now the sense of agitation is growing significantly. Earlier in the day, the Royal Bank of Scotland had been the target. Protesters smashing through windows. The bank has become a symbol here of everything that was perceived to be rotten with the banking sector. This was only a small portion of those present, but they were determined. The politicians are eager for the G20 to be remembered for big decisions, not mass violence. These pictures will ensure, at the very least, those who oppose the political and financial establishment will have their opinions heard.